Take a look at the Japanese floating trains if you need any more evidence that we are living in the future. Therefore, hold on to your hat as we examine the Chua Shinkansen. It's a brand new maglev train that should be finished in 2045. However, there's a chance it could happen sooner. Welcome to Unleash Billions, the channel dedicated to exploring the lives and strategies of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and business leaders. So join us as we uncover the secrets of the billionaires and learn how you can unleash your own success. Let's get started! If you weren't aware, a maglev train employs two sets of strong electromagnets, one to push the train off the track and appear to hover, and the other to pull the train forward. This accelerates them quickly by utilizing the absence of friction. The most recent maglev bullet train in Japan is a genuine leap into the future, but it is not cheap. A project that literally hovers a train above the Earth, like a speeder in Star Wars, would undoubtedly not be inexpensive. The Japanese government's estimate is 9 trillion yen. Let me just say that 9 trillion yen in US dollars is not exactly pocket change, but it is also not precisely trillions either. That would be equivalent to 66 billion, 537 million, 900 thousand dollars. Therefore, a large project with a large budget. The cost of the building, the opulent lodgings, the specialist maglev technology, and other factors is unquestionably quite high. I mean, there's a reason why this project took so long to get off the ground, no pun intended. Therefore, when it comes to bullet trains, people are mostly interested in the bullet portion and the destinations they may reach. However, let's first discuss speed before examining which city will gain from it. This is the fastest these babies can go. The Chua Shinkansen is undoubtedly no pushover. It is a top speed of 314 mph. I realize that train is swift, but is it the quickest in the world? Not quite fast. The French TGV holds the record for the fastest train, reaching 357 miles per hour. Therefore, it isn't quite at the top. However, the precursor to this maglev train, developed in Japan, really broke the record by reaching 375 miles per hour. Maglev trains are not to be taken lightly. In light of this baby speed, I need to know how quickly the route is traveled. What is it that can travel from one side of Japan to the other and back in just 30 minutes? It's not quite that fast but it's not nearly as far off as it once was. It will originally include a stretch that travels from Tokyo Shinagawa Station to Nagoya. It should take about 40 minutes to travel there. However, I'm still unsure of what quickly that is. Just driving that route alone, how long does it take? Is it truly that amazing? That same trip would take approximately 5 hours if you were to drive in average traffic, and that is if traffic is normal. The train is anticipated to travel other routes as well. To Osaka, there is a planned extension. Currently, the travel from Tokyo to Osaka takes more over 6 hours. You can already travel in 3.5 hours by rail, which is a time reduction of half. That will probably be reduced even more by this new maglev train, perhaps to under 3 hours. Certainly worth the money. So how much will a ride on an ultra-modern floating train set you back? Evidently, the price of a ticket on the regular route might reach 16,237 yen or more. Right, that's absurd. I've been fooled by this before, so hold off on going crazy till the conversion. This 16,237 yen is equivalent to about $120. So what does it mean to say that in America? For instance, if you ride a train from New York City to Augusta, Maine, which is nearby, your Amtrak ticket will probably set you back around $326. And it takes more than 8 hours. Therefore, this brand new maglev train from Japan is fantastic. This maglev train's coolness has already been discussed, but what about its danger? Given that these trains travel at over 300 mph and could be a catastrophic tragedy waiting to happen, there is legitimate cause for alarm. These tunnels' construction isn't always safe either. Two construction workers lost their life as a result of an accident on October 27, 2021. In a labor tunnel, a retaining wall gave way, burying them both. This prompted a thorough assessment of its safety checks, which revealed serious deficiencies. So how risky is the building and how risky are the trains themselves? You would be astonished to learn that the Shinkansen Rail Network, for example, has gone more than 57 years without experiencing an accident. 
While there have been a few catastrophes, including the Shigaraki train incident in 1991, which claimed 42 lives and left 614 others injured, or even a crash that happened outside of Tokyo in 2019 and resulted in 34 injuries in addition to one fatality. Since these are considered to be rarities in the history of Japanese railroads, it is unlikely that their new maglev beauty would ever do harm to anyone while it is being built. Evidently, the next issue is how trains will advance in the future. The most popular plans for developing train technology at the moment involve environmentally friendly green technology. While the majority of those are your typical green energy trains, some of them are also being considered to run on human waste. Let's be honest, as cool and filthy as that is, magnetic cover trains are still cooler. I doubt we can make bullet trains any faster than they already are in terms of practical transportation innovation. That implies that the sky is the limit in terms of the future. Look at our ideas for real flying train plane hybrids. It turns out that these little trains are simply regular rail vehicles with huge wings attached. They are boarded and exited on the tracks just like a regular train. Then the wings come down and the train actually takes off, it is still clinging to the rails like a gigantic kite full of passengers. When it has completed its journey, it slowly returns to the track, lets passengers off, and then boards a large number of additional passengers. It has a capacity of up to 2,000 passengers, which is a significant number. The train plane combination would also be a speed demon breaking all existing records as it traveled at speeds of about 500 miles per hour. In terms of price, I would think that it would be extremely expensive. The technology would need to be able to securely launch off a rail and land back on it numerous times throughout the day. I don't think that sounds affordable at all. Only the trains that Japan is allegedly creating that could actually travel to the moon are more absurd than that. Although this concept appears to be a project with a futuristic bent, it actually has roots in the 20th century. Back in the 1970s, the Japanese maglev technology was being discussed. Japan Airlines, Japanese National Railways, and Central Japan Railway Company collaborated on a government-funded project. In fact, the creation of this project resulted in the creation of the 7-kilometer test track for maglev development. In fact, it was on this track that the Japanese maglev train set a new speed record for magnetic levitation in 2015, reaching 375 miles per hour. So, despite the fact that it took an extremely long period, the goal was ultimately achieved. The most crucial test, the action movie test, has definitely not been passed by our maglev train. The real test, in my opinion, would be whether or not someone can actually fight on top of it. In my perspective, if you can't have a comfortable fight where you can't stand your ground on it, as in Skyfall, it doesn't really qualify as a bullet train. As in the Wolverine or Mission Impossible, a genuine bullet train battle should have you pinned to the floor. So give Tom Cruise a call because we need him for a job. How practical is our Maglim train's top speed of 314 miles per hour for the big bike test then? The Wolverine on Tokyo's bullet train could probably go at speeds pretty near to 300 mph. So you would have to force yourself down to your stomach in order to fight comfortably on top of this maglev train. I'm happy that science has finally provided a solution. So while flying trains, hovering trains and green trains all seem fantastic, I'm still holding out hope that my teleporter would whisk me away to Japan in literally a fraction of a second. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Unleash Billions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, success is within your reach, so unleash your inner billionaire. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.